Assalamu alaikum everyone it's me Hiba Ghaffar I hope you all are doing well so today in this video I'll tell you guys about the book which you should go for pathology at our third year level I'll highly recommend you guys the big robins although I know most of our teachers and seniors recommend us medium robins at our level but I'll recommend you the big robins because it contains many tables which are important from the exam point of view but are not given in the medium robins it is not as difficult as big cats and it is easy to understand but yeah pictorial presentation is more good in the medium robins but mm, i'll suggest you guys to go for the big robins you won't regret it and inshallah you will score excellent marks by reading this book so in chapter number 2 uh, just we have to read the introduction to pathology this diagram is important necrosis and apoptosis and this table is important just give it a read hypertrophy definition example and mechanism this is important for this topic to cover uh, you just not need to do the details of the mechanism of the hypertrophy just do the first line of the hypertrophy mechanism of hypertrophy same goes for the hyperplasia atrophy and metaplasia and then we have the causes of the cell injury more often sq come to just numerate the causes of the cell injury so these are the causes oxygen deprivation physical agents chemical agents infection agents etc and this is the first most important sq of this chapter difference between the necrosis and the apoptosis just give it a read reversible injury cellular swelling is important for the mcq's point of view nuclear changes are important for the mcq's point of view and the second most important uh, sq of this chapter is the types of the necrosis uh, it often comes in sqs and asked in the viva and then we have the mechanism of cell injury sq comes to just to enumerate the mechanisms of cell injury uh, in the depletion of atp this diagram is important for the sq point of view just read this uh, table and then we have the mitochondrial damage just do this diagram for the mitochondrial damage this is important from the sq point of view the next one is influx of the calcium and loss of calcium hormones just do this diagram this is more than enough no need to uh, do whole theory for this and then uh, this is important pathological changes and uh, the removal of the free radicals this table is not so important for the exam point of view and then we have the defects in the membrane permeability the most important sq for this chapter these are basically the mechanisms of cell injury which often acts in the sqs then ischemic and hypoxic injury just definition this is important ischemic reperfusion injury these are the points this is important for the sq point of view then the third most important uh, sq of this chapter is apoptosis uh, causes of the apoptosis and these two mechanisms mechanisms intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway this diagram is important this diagram is for the intrinsic pathway you just need to do the diagrams for these pathways no need to do the whole theory for the sq point of view this is the diagram for the extrinsic pathway and just do the definition of necroptosis autophagy definition this is important for the mcq's point of view intracellular accumulations lipid scarves no need to do the detail of these just do for the point of view of mcq's hyaline cartilage glycogen the most important for the mcq's as pigments and then and this is the second last most important question of this chapter pathological calcification dystrophic calcification difference come often in sqs pathological calcification types dystrophic calcification and metastatic calcification this is the last uh, most important um, sq of this chapter uh, cellular aging you just need to do this table it will cover all of your topic Uh, so this is all about the chapter number 
Uh, if you like my video, do share, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Allah Hafiz.